This is the Kali Linux client machine and this is the Rocky 9 Linux server. I have two sessions for Rocky Linux. It's on the server machine I'll run the iperf in the server mode and I'll bind it to 5001 which is the default iperf port. From the client machine I'll try to use the client mode and I'll try to connect to 190 the same IP and if you see here I'm getting the error message which is Steve CP connect to 192.168.0.190 port 5001 failed no route to host and you will get the same error message when you try to do the telnet as well unable to connect to host no route to host so this is the server end issue and if you come to the Rocky Linux and if I, if I check the IP table entries you will see that the IP table rule is already in place to allow the traffic from the source 192.168.0.6 which is the Kali Linux IP address on ETH0 And if I do watch, then you will see that the traffic is hitting this rule and the packet number is still increasing. Policy except 2438. So to overcome this issue, you will have to check if your system is using the firewall or not because by default, the firewall is not disabled on the system and even if you have the IP table rule, it will still check the firewall rule to allow or deny the traffic. So first of all, I'll show you the status of the firewall on my system. You can see here it is active, it is running. Now I'll show you the firewall state. It is running. Now let's try to check the rule. And you can see here I have the public active, I have the interface ENX0 inside the public zone. And if you see the ports here, I have 3389 TCP added to this zone to allow the traffic. I do not have the custom port or the iperf port to allow the traffic. So that is the reason why it is getting dropped on the Linux system or on the server. So there are two methods to overcome this issue. One is to disable the firewall D make sure if you're using IP table to manage the traffic you disable the firewall service if you would like to utilize the firewall as well alongside the IP table which is not recommended then you will have to allow the port as well so first method is to disable it and once you do that you should be able to connect to 192.168.0.190 which is the server on port 5001 and you should be able to carry out the iperf test to figure out the throughput upload download packet per second second method is to add the port in the firewall so I'll show you the ports now So this is the only port added, 3389 TCP. I'll add the 5001 port TCP. So this is added. Now after this, if you start the iperf, you should not have any issues connecting to the server to carry out the iperf test. 
Let's wait for some time. And you can see here bandwidth, speed, interval. You can do the bi-directional testing as well. So that's how you fix the issue with iperf if you see the error message no route to the host or in case of any other service where you would like to add the rule to the firewall. And you can see here my telnet is also working it is getting connected as well. That's all in this video. Please do not forget to subscribe to the channel and hit the like button. See you in the next video.